What's up, y'all? It's me, back once again with another stream. All right, everybody. So, we were investigating the swamps the last time that we... The last time that we played. So let's continue on with investigating the swamps, shall we? Oh, there's a, find a way forward. fancy little gentleman right up here. Backpack. Oh, some wisp weed. Dagger root and dagger root. Hey, Gandrell, what's up, man? Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. I prefer a weapon to a stench, thanks. <laughs> Whatever you're hunting, your stench alone will kill it. That's good. You're a monster hunter, not what I imagine. Who are you? Yeah, who are you? Today? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. To bargain. The lady of this house? A more innocent name than some I could call her. But it is what she is that ought to concern you. Her kind of hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. <laughs> I think you're mistaken. This place looks innocent enough, my fucking ass. And what price is that? Whatever's easiest to lose, and the hardest to do without. But the thing I hunt has gone to ground. If she can tell me how to draw him out... I'll pay whatever she asks. All right. Um, who is it you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Maybe I can help with your hunt. Fifteen. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. So we can get three to six bonus. Fifteen. Come on. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen. Nice. That's how it is right there, baby. That's how it is. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. Whoa! I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate. Alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? Let's, um, let's get some more info. What does your tribe want with a creature like that? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. We've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again, is he known to you? Mm, this one comes off as a little threatening. You can give it your hunt. Astarion's under my protection. I'll say we've met. He's not the type to come quietly. You do know him. I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. Tell him how to find your camp. Uh, I, I honestly don't know where he is. I'm not going to help you find him. Back off. Yeah, because Astarian's been with us, so he has nothing to do with that. I honestly don't know where he is. Sounds pretty good. I'm not going to help you find him. Back off. Oh, I wonder which one I should choose.
I don't want to attack him. I don't want to tell him how to find camp. Because Astarian seems like a lovely fellow. He's just a vampire. It wasn't his choice. Hmm. No, uh, I'm going to go with number two. I honestly don't know where he is because number three is too standoffish. I honestly don't know where he is. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. Go ahead. The lady of the house awaits. All right. I wonder if Astarian has anything to say about this. Let's um, let's long rest and go back to camp real quick. We have enough um, supplies that we can we can do without. We've been catching, uh, not catching. We've been gathering a lot of supplies. Need something? Yeah, I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Back to Baldur's Gate? Back to Cazador. There's no other reason he'd want me alive. The hunter was a Gur. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> of course he'd send a Gur to hunt me down. First, they make excellent monster hunters, so find a vampire spawn sounds perfectly reasonable to them. Second, they're the reason I'm like this in the first place. It was a group of Gur that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Saved you by turning you into a vampire slave? <sighs> well, he didn't mention the slave clause at the time. And now he sends a Gur monster hunter for me. It's a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, he can reach me. And he wants me back. Don't worry, Astarian. You're safe with me. We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. And kill any monster hunters on sight. All right, buddy. Go back to bed. All right, nice and well rested. All right, let's head back to the swamp real quick and then Let's see, anything new to Go say? Ahead. The lady of the house awaits. I wonder if I say either of these things. What will happen? The thing you hunt, it's my companion, Astarian. I didn't know what he was. Astarian's the monster you seek. I wanted to protect him before. Mm, no, we'll, um... Let's trade with him, see if he has anything, huh? He has a whole lot of nothing. Get the fuck out of here, nerd. Alright, before we go up there, let's head over here. Take a look at what we got going on. Ooh, reinforced greatsword and reinforced helmet. I'll get both of those. Yes, please. There's a crate. A couple crates. Oh, I don't want to get fucking bleeding again, so I'll avoid clicking on those. Ooh, a traveler's chest. Please. Addled frog. Reflective mucus. Let me talk with this guy. 
Potion of animal speaking. Where are you at? Hey, buddy. Bring these shallow water. Bring these shallow water. What are you croaking on about? Bring these shallow water. Oh. A chill runs up your spine. There is something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. Burn. Let's see. Perhaps I should just go. Green leaves, shallow water. Green leaves, shallow water. Okay. See ya. <laughs> A little bit odd. All right. Let's see what we got up here. A nice little pile of bones. Nothing up in it, though. Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. All right, I'm not going to drink from the well. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh... We'd have to steal it, though. Oh, what's I up, guys? I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. Hey, it's the Ethel. You best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Hmm. I mean, she was nice to me in camp. And she didn't attack me or anything when she was fighting with, the. Um, with, uh, what's her name? Marina's two brothers. All right, I'm sorry. I should have stepped in. Or, I'm sorry, I should have stepped in. Shouldn't it be I shouldn't have stepped in? Okay, we'll you go know, with that. I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Huh. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina. I have some bad news for her. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. The choice is yours. There's really no good decision to be made here. What is it? What's going on? Yeah. Auntie Ethel killed your brothers. That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away with you. <laughs> away with you. Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you. You'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Oh, hey, good looking. Come in for a kiss. Oh, this bitch went invisible. Um. See, she's invisible. Oh! There's two baddies right here. Okay. Let's do... Can't 
can't reach. Okay, um, we'll do Guiding Bolt on this jabroni. 75% chance miss. Of course, why not? Let's do protection on on me. And that should be good for now. For Gale, let's do magic missile. All right, that's good. Um, for me, let's go a little closer to where Auntie Ethel is. She's right over here. And then for Karlak, let's send her over here and uh, she'll deal with these two mopes. Piercing shot. Come on. Get him. Nice. Okay. Nice try, you little nerd. Oh, this bitch. Get back here. All right. It's time to rock and roll. Oh, I don't have enough bonus action. Okay. Nice. Ah, fuck. All right. Nice, we got that one. No choice but to keep going. All right, let's try him. Not enough movement. We'll try disarming attack on this this guy. Fucking missed. Okay. Bonus action. Disarming attack again. Nice. Weapon dropped. I don't want to keep wasting my spells right now. Let's, um... Level 2 spell slot. Nah, I'll hold on to that. So much for peace. Alright, punk. So long. Ooh. Oh, there's two more? Fuck yes. These fucking pieces of shit are coming out the woodwork. I don't fancy their chances. I'll just have them come to me. Right here should be... Let's, um... 
We'll jump, get a little bit closer so we can attack them. One can't always be a gentleman. Where do I go from here? I got this. All right, we got the front lines right here. This is how it's done. Oh! We need to break the concentration with this guy. Um, let's use a ranged attack, see if we can get him. Come on. Goddamn, concentration throwing. Uh, successful. Let's pass with him. We'll go in with Carlac. I'm going to enjoy this. All right, nice. Out of the hold. Critical miss, are you kidding me? There we go. Stop holding me, dude. What's the plan? All right, now that we got that all done. Scroll of hold person and scroll of protection. Nice. You know what? Fuck Auntie Ethel. I'm gonna steal everything from her house. Yeah, might as well. Fuck it. A spoiled treacle tart. Oh, it's one camp supplies. Okay. Anything in the crude chest? Some gold. Ooh, a bunch of different supplies there. I'll take that. I need to make sure I don't pick up anything that's fucking poisoned, you know? Moving on up. Bunch of stuff up here. Hell yeah. Antidote. Gold. Copper ring and some gold. Nice. Tea house key, dagger root, poison recipe, simple poison recipe. I have long wondered about whether to publish any malevolent concoctions I've encountered. Nickross or Nickrose convinced me with that damnable smile of his, but it is true that the life of an adventurer can be made safer through a good offense. Please use this recipe responsibly and do not cause any harm to other thinking creatures. Recipe for one vial of simple poison. Extracts needed. Vitriol of bone cap. Ashes of dagger root. Method. Sprinkle ashes over the vitriol. 
Do not stir. Cap the vial and wait until it exudes an acrid smell. And remember, when in doubt with alchemy, the rule of three, ingredient excellent. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think this is the books. No, that's the notes. This is the books. Yeah. Bunch of potions. Nice. Some butter buns. All right, bottle rack, bottle rack. Wisp weed. Let's check up here. The Purged Palette, Midwinter Edition. Don't want that rotten carrot, so we'll go back down. Simple Toxin, take that. All right, so Antidote, Grilled Roth, uh, Rotha, Roth Ribs. Potion of greater healing, a letter from M. The letter begins in an elegant cursive, but ends in a harsh sloping scrawl. Ethel. Forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hearing and I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep, but if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. Pick that up. There we go. Put that in there. Any other stuff we need to... Boop, boop, boop. Nope. Okie dokie. Now we can continue on. Oh, no, I don't want that turned on. This sneaky little woman keeping a little hidden, hidden little entrance back here. Oh. My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. All right, let's give him a magical artifact. All right, so Carlike has a bunch of stuff. Sparkle hands, unarmed attack. We can get rid of. Well, we can get rid of this one. Speedy reply. No, we'll get rid of this one. Nobody's going unarmed. Thank you. It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. Somehow the second artifact hasn't had the effect of the first. It somewhat relieved the discomfort, but I fear my hunger hasn't quite... Ah! Gail, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It nearly drizzles. The embers still sizzle, though. Fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. All right. Well... 
Don't worry, Gale. We're gonna fix you, buddy. Well, that's pretty cool. You can turn those off. I can't. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Guess what, bitch? I invite it myself. Tell me where Marina is. Has that Riggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. Oh, will I? Oh, nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ha! This bitch. Stop. Please. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never Don't fade. Look. Don't. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Wait. Oh my. My darling Macron, she wished for the mind of a genius, but the silly head crossed me. Rogue's morsel. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. Ephron. Ephron's petrified. Don't we have like a, a something that cures petrification? Oh, wrong one right there. Let's put that in there. Okay. Um, it's like um. Turn a petrified creature back to its organic form. Oh! What in the bloody hells is going on? You're in a hag's lair. I... I remember that, but... I think she turned me to stone. Because of the bite. Of course. I can't believe you fixed it. How did you cure me? What's the bite? Latigo's bite. I caught it when... Wait... You didn't... You didn't fix it! Why would you turn me back if you didn't? Oh, God! No! Ah, help! Ah, I don't want to die! Ah, oh, my. Maybe we should have just left him petrified, huh? We'll take all that stuff from you. Sorry about that, Efren. I'm out of here. Don't look. Gnarly cauldron. Stop. Please. Please. Whispering masks. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. I can't let people through. Not again. What happened the last time you opened? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. 
gold coin spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Oh my. Flee, you feel it cry. I'm not afraid of that hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. All right, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers and you realize that the door is transparent. All right, I'm going to use persuasion. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Ten. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. There we go, baby. You see the hag. She walks through the door. Its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. That's fu That's a fucked up way to l have to fucking spend the rest of your life or 30 more years or however long it was. Look, the thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet guards my home. Oh, so the shield is linked to the gnarled door. Hourglass. My gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Don't look. Don't. I've had better days. Never worse ones. Stop Still me. Please. Even after everything. Please. Lauren, what's going on, bud? No. No. Don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. <laughs> Smile as he twitches and whimpers. <laughs> Mustn't look at what exactly? Or are you, let's ask him, if, are you all right? I see it. What's to come? You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. Calm yourself. Whatever you're seeing, it isn't real. I see it, see truth, see death, all future. That's so? And what does my future hold? Always asked, never good, never see, never. Gods, don't hurt me. Oh, please, 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 please. You're safe with me, I swear. No. No! Monster! For mind dripping, flesh peeling, mind flayer! Look at me, I'm not a mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! No intention of letting that happen. Wait! Away! All right, let's go through. You feel the barest hint of life from within the door. Stop. Pick up these bone caps. Oh, there's these um helmets. Let's go and see what these helmets are. 
Whispering mask. Go pick these up. I need my weapon out. Um. Nice. Okay. Let's go down. We'll head over here near this guy. Oh, okay, fuck. It took all my fucking... Oh, I'm frightened. Okay. I won't do it. Mask of regret, mask of vengeance. Okay. Damn. Fools these mortals be. Let's... But true strike. We'll um we'll save our spell slots for now, yeah. Hag's pawn. All right, nice. Oh, that's not good. You done pissed me off. Say bye bye. Still on my feet. I can go up here. Cost doubled. Okay. I'll try it. Bro, okay. Uh, disadvantage. Can I charm them? 42%. Not very good chance. Hold humanoid. We'll do that. Boom. Nice. Oh, I guess that took rid of the um concentration. Okay. I can't hit anything. Nice. Keep on dodging them, Gail. No. Ooh. Okay. 
75% chance missed. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um. Don't. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's get a couple short rests in to heal up. Pushing on. Part of the flock. Auntie Ethel welcomes you, dearie. Open up. There's a faded note. Read this every morning. Remember, she is not your friend. She is not your family. Do not eat the food unless she is watching. Do not drink the tea unless she is watching. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. Do not wear the mask. The word lies is written in large, thick letters across the rest of the text. We got a bunch of these whispering masks. Do they sell for anything? Yeah, 15 gold. What's hiding here? Oh, a pig's head, my favorite. Where's there a trap? I could jump across, maybe? Mm, stinky. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jump up here. Oh! Alright, well, we know where the trap is. Don't trigger it. Get down here, guys. We're a long way from Waterdeep. for a good meal. All right. Uh, what now? All right, let's go down here. There's a trap right there, I assume. Best be on my way. All right, let's take a let's take a gander. Oh, there is something odd coming on right there. Whoa, a visual bug or something. We're pretty low. Let's um let's heal up. Let's use some potions. Give it to Gale. Direct. Give it to Shadowheart. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Give it to Carlac. Damn, it's good to be alive. Alright, we'll split it. Let's have them carry six. Damn. Whoops. <laughs> split item. 
So we'll do six right there. Send it back to Shadowheart. Next, I wonder. Split this into six. Send this to Gale. You have my attention. Split that into six. And then give the rest to me. At least things have stayed interesting. All right, that's how we're doing it. I have to keep going. There, in the cage. You come to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair. You petulant bollocks! Hey, watch your mouth, bitch. I'll rip your spine out your asshole. <laughs> I'll use your blood to spice my stew. I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones. And then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Stop it! Please, let me go! You want the girl so bad. Fine. Oh! Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, it's burning. Okay, um... Let's create water. Boom. Okay, and... That's it for right now. Let's... This fucking visual bug is driving me nuts. What is happening right there? Okay. Go forward. Boom. High defense, 25% chance to hit. Forty percent chance to hit with uh ranged. Fuck, it was an illusion. Okay. M menacing attack on this one? Of course it's a fucking miss. Ah. <laughs> Die in a fire! <laughs> oh. Alright, I need some healing, but for oh, we need to get Carlac up here too. Let's um go right there. We'll have her dash, and then have her come up to this hag right here. All right. Step by step. Target's too far. I'm going to save that for right now. Fuck, she's all out of spells, dude. Scroll of the tech thoughts. Nothing really good. Um, sacred flame. Fire bolt. Let's try sacred flame. Oh, man. All right. This isn't looking good. I'm trying, bitch. Oh. Oh, no. All right. This isn't looking good. But let's see what we can get done here. Hamstring shot. Fucking miss. You kidding me, dude? Man, this is not looking good. Okay, Gale. I know you're poisoned, buddy.
walk a little closer. All right, this is the real one right there. All right, bitch. It's fucking time to kick your head in. You fucking whore. Oh, no. Oh, there's an illusion. Oh, that's really Marina. Oh, gosh. I'm at one health. All right, dash. Boom. Let's go. Marina, run out of here. Bitch. Yeah. Ooh, nice try, bitch. Yeah, run. Vicious mockery. Fuck, I can't heal. Of course it was a miss. Why wouldn't it be? Marina, can you run out of the way, bitch? Did it hit? Nope. With haste. Oh, yeah, Gail's the one doing all the work here, baby. Ooh! Big damage. Come on, hit her! All right, Karlak, I need you to pick me up. Thank you. Cry All right, bitch. Brain. Reckless deck. Ah. With the weave. Um. True strike on Carlac. All right, come on, baby. You got it. Next round. Oh fuck! Here we go again. Uh, I ha I have to do ranged attack. Oh, um, potion. Ready for this. Let me recite their demise. to cleric four. Ah, oh, they're all out of my range. Um. Fuck. Oh, this bitch is a tough one. Oh, here we go again with this hold person bullshit. Fuck me. Ooh, that's real anti-ethyl. Yes. Was it? No, it wasn't. Fuck. You 
kidding me? Here we go again. That's the real anti Ethel up here. 100%. Oh no, she's right there. But I need to get rid of these. Okay. Stop missing, bitch. Oh. Nice miss. All right, nice. I broke out of it. Dodger Carlock. There we go. Okay. Nice. Critical miss. Good job. All right, let's do a menacing attack on... Ah, oh, 9%. All right, what do I have? Caustic bulb. I have bombs, right? Fire bomb or something. Acid vial. We have an arrow of fire. <laughs> Alright, we got that at least. <laughs> Fucking bitch. There we go. Ooh. See ya. Wait. Oh, wait just a tick. Killing me is a waste of time. I'll find a way to return. Always have. Always will. Hmm, you will, but will you? It's unpleasant. So how about we be civilized about this? Hmm. I have something you want. This should be good. If you're gloating now, just wait till you hear my offer, Petal. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Ability score plus just one. Let me keep the girl and her babe. Not only would this be a vile deal, it would be folly to trust the hag's gifts. It's your choice, sweetness. I like this one since it's Carlac. It has we have different options: Berserker, Intimidation, Girl, Power, Everything, or I turn your skull into a piss pot. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Let's go. 17, baby. You greedy little bollocks. Fine. Here. Ew. Yeah. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. You have my word. But the deal. What about my husband? What happens to him? Deals off, you dumb cow. <laughs> and you've her to thank for it. Not that it matters. I'll find another just as plump and ripe. I can set up shop elsewhere. 
People always need lotions and potions. If I ever see you again, you'll be fertilizing this swamp. If I ever see you again, you'll have a tentacle for a tom. Bye-bye, Petal. Yeah, bye-bye, loser. Auntie Ethel's hair. We made a deal with the hag. In exchange, she gave us great power. Plus one to wisdom, strength, constitution, dex, intelligence, or charisma. Obviously, we're going strength. Didn't we receive an item? Yeah. Consuming this piece of fey flesh grants a permanent plus one bonus to strength. Two lice still scurry around on the little flap of skin attached to this clump of matted, crusty hair. Sounds delicious. Right up my alley. Yum, yum. Okay. So now I have 18 strength. Yes. Nice. There's a awesome. sylvan stone. I'll pick that up. Hey, Marina. You're welcome. I saved you. I should speak up. I'm so stupid. How could I have trusted her? I almost gave that monster my child. Less crying. More gold, please. <laughs> Why the hells would you even consider that? That's what she wanted. My baby. And God, I was going to do it. For him. My husband. She was going to bring him back. Bring on her back to life. Yeah, I don't think that is what would have happened, Marina. You're... You're too trusting. Your husband must have meant a great deal to you. What would have happened to your child? You, you'd you have sacrificed a new life for a lost life. Pure selfishness. Let me know when you're done whining. You'd have sacrificed a new life for a lost life. Pure selfishness. I have nothing, all right? Ethel promised to raise the child. Teach them magic. Yeah. Give them a good life. Okay. A damn sight better than I can do. I just wanted everything back. Back the way it was. That doesn't excuse the deal you made. I never said it did. I just wanted you to understand. Look, I don't like owing people. Here. This socket is worth some coin. Keep it. You don't owe me anything. Really? That's... My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me. I mean, there was. your two brothers, but... They're swimming with the fishes now. <laughs> Animal carcass. Ooh, all kinds of goodies in here. Pork loin, pig's head, it's a feast. Yum, yum, yum. Potion of speed. The ever seeing eye. Oh, it's a, uh, a necklace. This is a necklace, too. Dancing lights. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, hell yeah. I can use that instead of my, um... 
instead of my torch. We can give this to... We'll give this to Gale. Well, he has Speak with the Dead. We'll give this to Shadowheart. It makes more sense. Attention! I wonder what the next move is. Send that to me. Sort by weight. Can't give up now. Letter from Ethel and letter to Ethel. Letter from Ethel. Blotches of ink are spattered on this unfinished letter written in an uneven scrawl. Sister dearest, are you feeling all right, pet? Let's try it in her voice. Are you feeling all right, Petal? I can't believe you let some pup give you the slip. I'd be mortified. Worry not. My redcaps nabbed the bugger. They're taking their sweet time with him. The screaming stopped a few nights past, but the sobbing continues. He'll die regretting he crossed a hag. A mother with a failing mind? You know me so well. I have the most darling mask for her. You must come to vis... Letter to Ethel. The letter is written in elegant cursive. Ethel, I've heard business has been slow. Rest assured, I have a job for you. A client fled Baldur's Gate without payment. My agents picked up his trail along the Kianthar and have ensured he will pass through your territory. Do as you wish to him. In exchange, I have a girl who suits your particular appetites. Her mother's mind is failing. My contact has assured her you can help. I'll have her sent by the usual route, M. Bitter Divorce. Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched into the surface. A heavy chest. A bunch of rings. I'll take all of them. Staff of Crones. Ray of Sickness. Ooh. Let me work my magic. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Hell yeah. I have a lot on my mind and, well... Wicker it's... Chest. Oh, some more potions. I'll take those. Let's sort by type, and then we'll put all the potions away. Keep the he healing potions out. All right, nice. Put these letters away. All right. I need uh, another bag for all these scrolls and uh, arrows. Let's see. We can put the potions away. Boom. 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 Put alchemist fire away in there, too. Holy water. Put water in there, too. All right, nice. Tidy that up a little bit. Poisonous slime bomb. Yeah, I'll put the throw um the throwing items in there as well. All right, nice. Just seeing if there's anything else. Let me equip this magic ring. <laughs>
Put the void bulb in there. Smoke powder satchel. Nice. Put that in there. Okay. All right. We just cleared up a little bit. Looking good. Lover's avarice. A mother's loathing. Hint of blood. Ling it's enough to make your mouth water. Oh, I ain't drinking that shit. Get that out of here. I'm not going to have any of these fucking potions right there. Very well. All right, I think that's it. Mushroom circle. Nice, we're out. Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> oh, okay. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. Are you all right? You could just leave him here. Whining won't get you there any faster. Stand with her in silence or leave her to mourn. Are you all right? Not even a little bit. But I will be. Should we bring up the wand? I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. What are we thinking? Because I think she's already at, she's already accepted what's happened now, right? Like, she escaped from Antiethel. We saved her. She sounds like she's come to accept her husband's death. So if we get her hopes back up with the wand, I found a wand. I think I can res resurrect your husband. It might get her hopes up. And then if it does work, you know, because she's a dirty fucking bitch hag that it's going to make like make something fucked up happen where it's like he he comes to life but it, he kills Marina or something like that I guess we're here so she wouldn't really be able to get killed stand with her in silence we were just kids when we met <laughs> I might have pushed him off a swing I wanted. He got right up and pushed me back. I was so surprised that I just laughed. He did too. We've barely spent a day apart since. Huh. Let's try it. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. Let's try it. What? You can. Fuck, I knew it. I knew it. Now our hopes are you up. feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back. Bring Connor Fuck. back. Please. I fucking knew it. Point the wand towards the coffin or snap the wand in two. I mean, we bought it up. Snapping it in front of her would just be pretty much like I'd, I'd be spitting in her face. I think that if we do use the wand to bring him back, we can bring him back and then she can see that he's a monster or that he's not the same Connor, and then we can take it from there. I think that's what we can do. Point the wand towards the coffin. Yep, he's a zombie. Dead. 
Yeah. Oh, God. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. <laughs> Shit, bitch! So the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? But this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back! Back the way he was! Not this! Oh, now we have to make another decision. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? It's not her husband anymore. It's the fucking corpse of her husband. Don't worry. I have the wand. I'll make use of him. We can always bury him again. Kill the undead abomination. We can always bury him again. No! Don't put him in the ground. He was... He is afraid of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. Your husband's gone. This thing is just a monster. You don't know that. He... He could still be in there. And I gotta try. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said... You can find anything in that city. I'll... I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. Oh man, I don't know if I like this. It's beyond even the power of the weave to help now. I mean, it is what it is, right? Let's just hope that he doesn't fucking end up killing a bunch of people or something else like that. All right, nothing else down here. Let's get out of here. Um, tea house. What's in? What's tea? What's what's the quest here at the tea house? Um, a bunch of quests here. That evil uh, ancient tome that we found, we can unlock it or destroy it. If we unlock it, we need a key gem to put into the mouth that was missing. Investigate Kaga. Yeah, she's dealing with the shadow druids. Save the first druid. Okay, so we'll need to go to the... Um, where... He was captured. Nice. Baldur's Gate. We need to go to. Alright. There's nothing else for a quest that would indicate us needing to be here at the tea house. So I say let's just move out and um, we can go back to the Blighted Village. And then we can head across to the unexplored area. These goblins aren't exactly house proud as occupiers go. Wouldn't blame the gobs. Place looks like it's been abandoned a good while. Oh my god, what is happening with the grass?